What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a new video for you because you guys know I am an open book on my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is kind of like my diary in a way and today I was told that I might possibly be getting sued for $28,000. So today I want to talk about that because when a video is removed from my channel I like to explain why. So get ready, pay close attention, grab a snack and let's get into this drama because whew, let's take a deep breath everyone, um, calm down. Uh, someone said Peaches is back on Instagram. I'm gonna have to check that out. But today we are talking about Brittany Boren Leach. She is a YouTuber here on YouTube and she has 240,000 subscribers and she is a YouTube mommy. She's just really popular for her, you know, product videos, her children videos, her routine videos, and actually I made a video about her recently. I don't really try to talk about Brittany because she has gone through some serious things in the world and with her children and I have sent my sympathy to her and continue to send it to her and forever will. But I made a video because something happened to her supposedly rumored and I wanted to talk about it. Um, it's something that was on mommy vlogs and that people were sending me and talking to me about and what I made was a video about her and her mother and her ex-husband and in this video I was very clear that everything was alleged, everything is very much a rumor, everything um, was just, you know, hypothetical and I made that obvious in my video but I am going to take down the video and I just wanted to be clear on why the videos could be taken down and today I'm going to talk about that because one of her family members messaged me and you know went off so we're gonna go through those DMs and of course she actually gave me permission to share the DMs um I wrote, but also remember, you are an influencer, you have so much power. I said enough that these DMs will be a video of their own. And she wrote, that's fine, you can make a video about this, and I am. So this is that video, and I'm going to explain to you guys why this video about her mom is going to be removed on my channel, because I do feel bad for Brittany, and that's why I'm removing it, because even though Brittany can be problematic in some ways, um, I think it's even more problematic that her mom might be possibly allegedly rumored to be married to her ex-husband. And that's what I talked about in the video. And I showed a bunch of receipts and I talked about her mom, I talked about her um, ex-husband, and I talked about them all. But that is obviously a very sensitive topic for them because they are sending their family members to come and like threaten me with lawsuits. So I'm going to remove it just because I don't want Brittany to have more pain from this. In fact, I wanted to just try to help Brittany by being like, yo, yeah, your mom's very problematic. Like, let's call her out. Let's hold these people accountable. But it seems like they are still trying to figure out that issue for themselves. So you guys might be wondering who sent me this suing DM? Who have I been talking to? Who's in relation with Brittany? Well, actually, it looks like it's one of her family members named Cassie. Um, I don't really know who she is, but she has half of a million followers on Instagram, so she's quite popular. I couldn't find her on YouTube, but she still could be a YouTuber, and she supposedly is related to Britney in some way. So, she messaged me, and of course, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to reply, and I'm going to show you guys all those DMs because I'm very transparent on my channel, and I just want to be clear on why this is going away, and plus, she also said I'm able to do this, so I'm just going to, um, <laughs> I'm going to get into it. Someone said this is going to be an interesting live. Yeah, it, it is going to be an interesting live. So, let's go ahead and pull up these messages between Cassie and I. I'm going to need some water, guys, mm. and my glasses because, um, this is serious. So, she wrote me and said, I would like to inform you that I have my lawyers coming at you for that video of Brittany Boren Leach. If you don't remove it, remove it within 24 hours. I said, hello, I can take it down. Did I mention you in the video? I don't recognize your name because I was thinking if she's going to sue me, isn't she like if she's suing me, does that mean it has to involve her because Brittany would have to sue me? But anyways, she wrote, but no, but she is family. You have 24 hours to remove it before my lawyers take action. I can't believe that someone would be okay with sharing this information, blah, blah, blah. She's been depressed. She's claiming that she is going through it and that, like, why would I share this? Which I wasn't trying to hurt Brittany in any way. I was literally trying to be like, yo, yeah, this is going on. Everyone's talking about this online and I'm just gonna make a video talking about it because I presented it as rumors. I said it was alleged and I was like, this is crazy. I mean, Brittany, sh I feel like her mom like is the villain here. We should be calling out her mom for taking her ex-husband, but that's all a rumor and that's why she messaged me. She said, um, 
she's always she's already going through this right now um and the fact that you feel okay with making someone cry and causing them hurt is just so wrong it's just so wrong and i wrote back omg i know i feel really bad for her i do i think that you think i'm against britney but i'm not i love her i love her content i was mad when i found out her mom i'm sure you know you were really upset <laughs> What am I even saying here? I was mad when I found out about her mom, you know, her mom supposedly dating her ex-husband. And she said, I'm sure you were really upset when you found out as well, like who does that? That was my question back to her. Then she said, please delete the video. She's not even acknowledging what I said. It's not accurate, it's rumors. Um, my lawyers are on standby. If you truly care about her, you would care because it made her cry. Honestly, everyone cries, but I just wanna say that like her lawyers are on standby, her lawyers are on standby. She keeps bringing that up and I'm like, I've never had it where someone just keeps saying that. Like send the cease and desist. I've had several cease and desist on my channel before. That's just what happens on YouTube. Like I can handle it and we'll work it out. So she said, the things you shared in the video are untrue. Please remove it. Um, pl send confirmation when it is deleted. Then she said, we have a lawsuit for $28,000 for defamation that will be issued to you in person, which again, I said everything in my video was alleged. Everything in this video, I guess, is alleged as well. I don't, I really don't think she has grounds to do this, but I am removing it and I will explain why I'm removing it later on. Um, but pretty much she said, you'll need to appear in person in court, you'll pay the fee, you can fight your claim within 15 days, blah, 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 paperwork issued. She's just going on. She says, you don't F of my family and I'm going to come after you with more charges if needed. I'm like, oh my gosh. And at this point she sent two voice messages, which I was debating whether I was going to, um, actually like share the voice messages because she was cussing in some of them, but I mean, like it's whatever. I don't, I mean, I can share just like a glimpse of them, but I just feel like it wasn't too much. She was just like going on, going on, going on. She's like, you just pulled this story out of your head. I'm like, I didn't like, what do you mean? Yeah. Like it came about or where the story in your head came from, but they are not true. And Brittany is already going through an a story in my head that it came. Like I, I found multiple receipts. That video was full of receipts. It wasn't like, oh, I just pulled this out of my head and I had a dream and I was like, oh, this happened. Like, that's not how my videos work. I just include screenshots when I, make videos so obviously she just doesn't like what i'm putting up but i put i'm working right now so I'll, i will remove it but there are a few things that you said that aren't right i didn't just pull this story out of my head did you watch the video people were collecting stuff on this and trying to get out there she's a huge influencer you think uh, how do you think that my video would have any impact on you guys you guys have 100 whatever freaking times the amount of people following you this is a little bit ridiculous um Every time I've gone to cease and desist letter, I've cooperated right away, but I've never been approached in such an unprofessional way. It makes me really think there's something in that video that you guys are trying to hide. So um, that's where, I, I, that's what I sent right there. And she said, have you ever had to watch someone you care break down in tears? And I was literally like, wait, what? Yeah, Cassie, that's, <coughs> that's the real world. Not everyone can have a half a million followers on Instagram and use their children, use their family and whatever for their living. Like life is hard and people go through things. And of course I said, yes, all the time, that's life. And she said, you're okay with it. And I said, not everything is an Instagram filter, Cassie, which, oh my gosh, I'm not trying to be savage, but I was just saying. And I said, um, I mean, no, it's so messed up what her mom did to her. And she said, I understand that completely. And I said, that's why I made the video. She said, it's not a filter. I think she's a little delayed because we were typing kind of fast here. And I said, like, how do you defend Tiffany or approach me in such a way? Because like, how are you defending her mom if her mom literally took her ex-husband or whatever away from her, which is alleged. Um, she said, but if you ever had to see people you care about break down, you get defensive and use the power you have, which is my lawyers, because it's defamation. It's not defamation. I'm not making any claims. I'm literally talking about rumors, gossip. Like, she is a huge influencer. There are a lot of people talking about her on the internet. Like, nothing I said in that video was illegal. And actually, I had um, YouTube review the video. I had someone review it at YouTube before to make sure there was nothing wrong with it. And I used the words allegedly and rumors several times. So whatever. But that's, again, the reason I'm deleting it is not because it's because of defamation, but because I don't actually want to hurt Britney over this. But anyways, um, I said, what power? My content doesn't put a dent in anything. Um, and let's continue to the next one. Um, I was like, I will, but I would like some clarity if you're going to come here and freak out. Like, TBH, I would prefer a cease and desist rather than emotional messages. And she said, I apologize for freaking out. I do. And I said, like, let's 
have them explain it. I was like, like, let's have them explain it. Like the lawyers explained it to me because I used allegedly and rumor over and over in the video. And I said to make sure that everyone knew that it wasn't legitimate news because a lot of things on commentary videos are not legitimate news. I mean, do I believe that story was true? I do, but did I present it as truth? No. And I had receipts to back it up, yeah, but did I, again, present it as factual? No. I just showed you what people were talking about, which is 100% legal, and there's really no case here for her to try to sue me, but I'm just, we're having our conversation. So, I said to make sure that um, everyone knew, yeah, it wasn't legitimate news. And she said, but do you understand what that can still do to someone? I said, that's fine. You can have your emotion and defend your family. I get that. And then I continued, I believe. But also remember that you are an influencer and you have so much power. Enough that these DMs will be a video of their own, which they are a video of their own. Welcome. Like that's, and I got my consent. She said, that's fine. LOL. You can make a video about it, which is fine. We are literally, me and her, Cassie, we're actually friends now. It's crazy because we both agree. I'm going to remove the video and I can make a video about these and we can move on. But I just want to clarify for you guys, for the 45,000 or whoever, people saw that video, why it's gone now. This is why. Um people um blah, blah blah you can make a video about it because when someone hurts people i care about i defend them true okay i respect that i said you just want the original video deleted i was clarifying you want the original video deleted i'll make the follow-up video and then she said i have no shame in any of that i just want the original video deleted that's all i asked for and that's what she got so she's actually getting what she asked for your wish is my command kind of like how i'm going to be dragging billy bush or billy <laughs> billy bush billy b the makeup artist tomorrow on my channel i'm so excited for that but um, anyways, let's go on to the next message. So I said, that's good. And I respect that. And I'm not trying to act like you're crazy or anything here. I'm just not used to being told to delete a video like this. Usually it's like a cease and desist professional. I got an email, etc. And she said, I want to kind, I want to ask you kindly human to human before having to go down that route, which it really wasn't kind. Like, can we go back to the first thing? She's like, I would like to inform you my lawyers are coming. Like, I hope that's not your kindness, but anyways, because I know you're a good person and that it would be easier to talk rather than a court case hassle, which is true. It is easier to just talk to me about certain things, but the way she approached it at first, like it was a fight. And I, again, I got her consent to make this video, so that's why I'm sharing her DMs. Um, she didn't apologize for freaking out, but she said, you know, she would do it for her family. And I was like, I get it. Like, I would want to do defend my family too, even though I don't understand how Brittany is so sensitive to this with all the videos that have been made about her and being such a huge influencer. Like at this point, like I have become desensitized to the videos that have been made about me. And I just feel like at this point, how are you not de like my video really isn't doing anything to you, especially if it's rumored and alleged and it's not true. If it's not true, then why is everyone even freaking out about it? Like you'd be like, oh, it's just not true. It's frankly not true. That's not hard to say. And that would end any rumor or anything right there. We just haven't gotten that. And that's why her fans and other people are curious and digging and starting to look at what's happening here because they are trying to figure out the truth. So I wrote back, if you were saying that this is hurting Britney, um, that is not my intent. This is why I would remove the video because I think what her mom did to her is crappy, but I don't want to, her to feel worse. <sighs> But there, I'm like, I'm so bad at writing. Um, but like there is something, but is there something in that video in particular that you want me to remove or is it the whole story itself? Because I was gonna ask her, like, is there something I said? Did I show one picture that was like, okay, you are gonna send me a $28,000 lawsuit or is it like, is it the whole video entirely so um we continued and she said you don't know how much hurt this hurt Brittany, blah, blah blah and she's like i understand you said rumors and allegations which i'm gl glad she understood because i did say that very clearly like i've learned a thing or two on youtube i'm approaching 1000 or how many subscribers 100 i'm approaching a lot of subscribers which i'm very thankful and i never imagined that would ever happen but like i've learned a few things online and especially in that video i knew to say allegedly and rumored all over it because she is also the type to go and sue people she's trying to remove content about herself that is made um and that's totally fine but like it's just also why are you trying to hide the truth because people are just going to start digging and flipping until they figure out what actually happened um, so I said, uh, I mean, yeah, you're a mom, blah, blah, blah. I don't even know what I'm saying here. Oh, I said, <laughs> I was bringing up the mom situation again. I said, I mean, your mom taking your man, that's lifelong baggage. And she said, I get that. And she said, but people see surface level and they believe false news. Hence why you made the video. Um, but what you said was fake, plain and simple. It hurt Brittany a lot and she's going through it. Um, she is human. So she wants me to remove it. Um, 
uh, she's dealing with loss and she said the hate coming from the 45,000 people who saw it, which again, I, it really shouldn't have made a dent. I get, I'm trying to understand like the full, um, like, I don't know. I, I want to understand my impact because I don't want to act like, oh, I'm over here and like my video didn't do anything. But also, I really don't understand how my 45,000 would do anything. And that's kind of how I replied back to her. I said, 45,000 is so small. You know that as an influencer. But yet, Cassie, I am removing the video. I am just at work right now and I can't, which was 100% true. And she said, it's small, but even 1% of those people send her a DM. That's enough to hurt someone and their mental health. And no one should have all that negativity in their DMs. I just want to say that my video, again, like, let's pull up the video if we need to talk about it. My video on her, I didn't send her any hate at all. If anything, I was like, yeah, your mom, like, did something supposedly, allegedly really crappy to you. And that's what I called out. So whenever she's saying, like, oh, all this hate came to her. What hate? Like, we, I literally, if any hate should have gone, I guess, to her mom, which I don't want to send hate to anyone. But I'm just saying, like, if anything, Brittany is the victim here. And we should be showing her love and support because her mom literally took her ex-husband and now it's with her. Like, that's the rumor. So that's what I was just, I was a little confused there on, like, who is sending her hate? Because I definitely told everyone in that video that I felt bad for Brittany and that I was, you know, sending her good vibes because I feel so bad for what she's going through. And on in addition, like the weird thing with her ex-husband, and I don't know if that's true, but that's what I made the video about. And that's why I said the video is alleged in those rumors. That's why I said it in the first place. Um, okay, so she said, <sighs> that it's all this negativity in the DMs. So then I said, um, I could get it. I hope they don't send hate because my video is really more against her mom. I feel like Tiffany would be more her. And she said, please just send me an update once it's deleted. I'll keep checking throughout the day. And when she said that, I was, it rubbed me the wrong way because girl, you already know I'm gonna make this video about it because you gave me permission to do so. But also you're gonna watch my video throughout the day. Like what, like you're a teacher waiting for me to remove my video? Like honestly, send me the cease and desist because I'd rather see it exactly what you were taking me to court for when I said allegedly a rumor in my gossip video and such from a lawyer rather than have you tell me oh yeah well I'm gonna be watching your channel all day well then you must be here and the video is going down I told you by 9 p.m eastern time which right now it is 5 45 so it will be down I'm gonna take it down actually after this video but like <laughs> really girl I just I, I felt like that part rubbed me the wrong way because I feel like I'll be checking throughout the day girl sit one go take care of your ch uh, let me just read my message reply i was like okay but you know it's unrealistic to assume that everything should be positive especially as an influencer and life isn't going to get much easier for mom channels i said that back in reply to her negative dms and then she said um and thank you for not making me have to get the lawyers involved and i said that's perfect lol they don't scare me and i said if you want to try to intimidate me we can always just do the lawyers because she's literally telling me i'm going to check your channel throughout the day like i that just really rubbed me the wrong way i don't know if it was meant to be negative but it's just like it made me feel like okay if so you're not going to take my word you're just gonna be checking my channel all throughout the day so whatever um then i let's see back what i said um so then she said um she started getting nice she started getting nice cassie started getting nice because we are friends and she said i truly thank you for being a good person i'm not at all i appreciate you for having a kind heart which thank you cassie i appreciate like us having a good like whatever it was called um i said like i'll remove it if you don't have to <laughs> i was like <laughs> Like, I'll remove the video, but you don't have to sit on your butt all day watching my channel. I said, go take care of your child, which I was getting a little nasty there, I have to admit. But I was actually mad because I felt like me and her were getting to an agreement. And then at that point, I was like, wait, you're going to be watching my channel like a like a teacher? Then, hi, teacher. I guess you're here, Teacher Cassie. And she said, not when to hurt her. I said, blah, blah, blah. And I said, no, I don't like the way that you've been so nasty this entire time. I was like, just stop now before I change my mind and you can keep it up. or And, and I'll keep it up because really, I don't think you have a case in court is what I was trying to say like you don't have a case here and um <laughs> she said I apologize I was nasty I take full fault for that which is cool I'm glad like me and her actually ended up on good terms because uh, I said let's leave it at that Cassie she said of course I said it would be down by 9 p.m eastern time I was like so just check my channel at 905 I'll try sooner but it will be out down by then and she said I apologize again and I said it's fine um it's not an easy conversation to have, but we have come to an agreement and it's done. And she said that some nice things saying like genuine people hurt people or whatever. But yeah, that's pretty much why my video is going to be removed. And honestly, I'm removing it because I don't want to hurt Brittany anymore. Especially if like my mom did this to me, I would be extremely, extremely hurt. And I, I need to understand that there are implications like of my channel and that people could get like, I don't know. 
I just don't think that people, like, it really didn't do anything to her. It must have just struck a chord because there's something in that story that legitimately is bothering her. But I am going to take down the video because, not because of Cassie, but just because I felt like if it's going to hurt someone that badly that they're risking their family after me and threaten $28,000, like, your boy doesn't have $28,000, but also, I don't think they have a case. And also, I had other people who are like, you know, we'll help you do fight it or whatever. I'm not, I'm not trying to have that battle. If she really wants to hide this secret, this family secret, then let her hide it. I already did my part and I'm just going to walk away from it. But I wanted to explain to you guys why that video was gone because some people might even be midway watching it and it's just taken down today. So I want to see what you guys have to say in the comments below. Um, I always to like to look at some of these uh, deleted comments too. Um, uh, wow. Oh my gosh. Why are so many comments removed? Does Brittany understand what a deposition is? Some of these may not need to be removed. Just saying that, moderators. But um, yeah, it's so stupid. Don't delete it. Brittany was so bothered by it. She would tell you herself. That is true. I feel like why didn't Brittany message me? Why did she send like one of her family members? Because I do feel like that's kind of random. Like you could have messaged me. Honestly, I probably would have crapped my pants if she did. But I do feel like it is low key sketchy. And there must be something inside that video that really just struck a chord that made her want to send her whatever this person is after me. I don't know. Again, I was almost asked her. I was like, are you like related to the husband? Are you related to her? I really don't understand. I guess they just both happen to be family channels. But speaking of family channels, guys, <clears throat> I have something very random. I want to tell you, like, I almost want to make a whole nother video about it. But should I tell you guys? Wait, I need to see in the comments below. Should I tell you guys? Because it's about another, it's about Annie and Scanoli, Scanjoli, Scanjoli. I can't say the name, but the last name is Anne. Scanna Jolly. The ones from like the are they from the UK? I'm not too sure. Honestly, I am familiar with them, but I'm not that familiar with them that every time I look them up, I ha do have to look up how to pronounce their last name. But do we want the tea on that? I can give you just a sip of the tea. But anyways, I am gonna have to remove that video. So the video will go down. And again, it's not really because I'm oh so scared of her lawyers, but because I don't want to hurt Britney with this, especially if it is like a really deep, like dark family secret. Like let's keep that deep and dark and I will help you guys bury it and we will remove the video and act like it didn't happen. But like, um, there's receipts out there and I think the family has gotten better at like cleaning up some of the things on, you know, the mom's channel and the ex-husband's like, not channel, but their um, Instagram pages, but it's not clean enough because there are some people on forums like every single day talking about this. And I really feel like if she is going to try to hide it, she's going to need to talk about it and address the rumors soon. Um, so Sack and Jolie, Sack and Jolie. So pretty much the Sack and Jolie situation. Um, so she just messaged me today. If you guys don't know who um, Anne Scatch Sack and Jolie is, she is a YouTuber. She actually follows me now. She literally follows me. My phone is so disgust. Um, and she messaged me today on Instagram and she wrote me long messages, like long ones, but pretty much she introduced herself. She shared some stuff about Micah. Actually, a lot about Micah. And um, she talked about her children and her channel and her passion. And um, we even talked a little bit about Ape Pastor, which I can't talk about them. But um, I might even make a whole video about this, this DM because I was so shocked. Oh, I thought I sent something. I was so shocked by this DM. But um, I, I do feel like, I don't know. I'm not usually easily influenced by people like I'm very much one of you guys just here on the outside watching this uh, debauchery go down and I'm like holy crap what is going on here but when it comes to family channels if some mom does DM like Anna or whoever she is I don't know what controversies go on with that family but she was very nice in the DM and I'm not trying to be swayed but like are we friends now I don't know because she was really kind and she did share some stuff about Micah so I low-key want to share what she shared about Micah but I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below because the tea is too hot I'm like trembling I actually wasn't even going to bring that up but I was like I have to because I'm over here like just staring at it and I'm like okay it's a moment so we may talk about that on my channel I don't know I feel like there are some controversies that controversies that this family 
family has and maybe she's messaging me to make sure I don't talk about her before I get to them and honestly when I get a little message about something like this it makes me even more interested in it so I, I'm not gonna tr I'm just saying that like whatever she's trying to hide like she's trying to get ahead of the game and I do respect people who get ahead of the game and who are thinking about the future and who are considering me as someone who they want to have an open communication with because what if I do find some problems and I bring it up to her and we find the answers and we can I don't know I've never had a family channel cooperatively work with me so we will see but I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below and what do you guys think about the whole Brittany Bourne leech situation do you think it's that big of a deal like um do you think she should have messaged me do you think it's weird that she sent her family I don't know but the video is going to be taken down so if you want to go watch it now go watch it now but it's gonna be gone so I will see you guys on my channel soon bye guys